Right, that's actually our room on the top left. It's overcast, raining just a little bit, but not too bad. It's just drizzling. It's cold. The raindrops feel like ice on your face. We are on the Fiat Cruise to Good Vangen. No, oh, it's the sun's out. Nice. Yeah, and the sun's out. It's still drizzling just a little bit, but it's not too bad. It's an electric uh, boat. It's super, super quiet. It's ultra quiet. You don't hear any sound at all. With the sun out, you can really and truly see how majestic the fjords are. Maybe that hopefully can give you a bit of a scale. That's probably like a bench and down there. It looks like a two or three story roof. It looks absolutely tiny. This is the inside of the ferry. It's actually pretty massive. I can easily see maybe 100 to 200 people inside. Um, it's filled with nice couches and benches like this. And there's also a cafe right in the back there where we got our coffees from. This is how it looks like from the inside. You can see that the sun's really and truly out. And I think it's time for us to go back out again. Shall we? Nice to meet uh, new friends. So let me just introduce. This is Saud from Oman. Say hi, Saud. Hey guys, how are you? <laughs> Hello. This is also my friend. I recommended to visit Norway. It's a beautiful city. <laughs> yeah. And it's amazing. Nice. You cannot imagine the the weather and the natural. It's very it's pure, beautiful. pure natural there. Look at that, look at the mountain tops. You can see the snow peaks up there. That's how the cafe looks like. So there's coffee machines, and drinks, and ice cream. So the tip was accurate. If you take the last ferry, which is the 431, you'll have a lot less people. And you'll practically have the whole boat to yourself. We just got our groceries from Co-op and took a short detour to this mall to get some quick souvenirs. It's 8pm right now and it's still obviously so bright. I think sunset is at 10.30 which means that's Maghrib and then Isha is at midnight. It's so quiet now that the day trippers are gone and effectively, once everybody's gone, the whole town becomes very, very quiet. That's the Flums Bana, which is the train that we took and we'll be taking again tomorrow. This is actually the museum. Everything is contained within, I think, 100 meters of each other. And that's the gift, another gift shop. Behind it is one of the biggest hotels here, the Frithrin Hotel. You can see that there are car parks everywhere. So there's one here, there's one there, there's one way over where we first stopped. And I had a quick check. It is 40 kroner for one hour and 200 kroner for 24 hours. But if you were to stay for a week, um, for seven days, it's 700 kroner, which is 
roughly about $90, $90-$200 and that's actually a pretty good deal. How was today for me? Not bad, it's a new experience, mm -hmm. very nice views. Yeah. The cruise was all in about two and a half hours including the bus back so it's quite uh, worth it. It's It was one, we just checked again, it was 1,550 kroners. Good morning. It is the 7th of June 2024. We had a beautiful uh, sunrise this morning. It was calm and a bit cloudy and the sun was rising over the distance just beyond the valley there. We are getting ready to leave the guest house because today we are going to do the zip line and bike back to Flum. I hope we'll be okay because uh, heights do scare us a little bit. But we'll see how. Uh, to get to that place, you have to take the train from the Flum Ban station and then it goes up to a different station and you'll start the activity from there. We just got off the train here at Vernerhalsen, which is the stop point from Flam or from Merodel if you're going on the zip line uh, activity. Looks like we're going to be next. Exciting. Legs up. Three, two, one. It was awesome! Now I can stand up. Okay. Woo! So that was. <laughs> that was so exhilarating. <laughs> so fun. Yeah. So this is where you end up, right from the top there. And this is where we're gonna get our bikes. So the next half of this uh, activity is actually a bike ride, an 18 kilometer bike ride back down through the valley. Was it scary? No. It was scary when you were sitting down? Also no. I was surprised. Well, I was scared. Yeah. I'm not afraid to admit it. I was scared. That was so fun. Everybody has to try this at least once. Uh, this is the longest and furthest zip line in all of Europe. Uh, the Flam zip line. It has been operating for I think more than two decades now. So they have a very good system. Not to worry. 
and everything's all taken care of. <laughs> I think I'm still hyped up from all the adrenaline. Off we go. Holy hell. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's up? Nice. Oh, so nice. Yep. We have just started our bike ride. Our 18 kilometer bike ride from the end of the zip line back down to Flam. It's not an easy ride only because we have to stop every two minutes to take photos. Everything is so beautiful. Ridiculous. Oh, there is a huge river below. Don't go to the right too much. Nice. Oh goodness, so pretty. <laughs> Come on, mommy. Can do it. Okay. Try to lean back a bit. Yep. Nice. Wow! It's gorgeous! <laughs> there are waterfalls everywhere. We are about halfway through our bike trip and I think we've made it to the bottom of the valley because right behind us is the river. It's the massive river. So it starts all the way from where we were up there and now this river goes down all the way to Flam and then out to sea. I'm pretty sure you want to touch the water, right? Yeah, she's been wanting to touch the water from just now. Is it icy? Nice. We found this place that you can take a lovely photo right beside this massive cavern. The Flum train will go through that part there as it meanders down all the way. Yeah. Oh. This has got to be one of the most scenic rides I've ever been on it's not long, it's not difficult but it certainly is beautiful it's absolutely gorgeous the colours, the greenery the raging river, the mountains, the waterfalls, the flowers everything just comes together and the fact that the weather today is lovely look see what i mean you have waterfalls everywhere here in norway you just want to grab them look at that how has your ride been so far, mommy? Been great. Is it difficult? <laughs> Not much effort. Yeah. It's like <laughs> almost basically downhill all the way with just a few uphills. But anyway, those are very short uphills. So we are almost back in town. I think that's the staff Steve Church. Uh, it's one of the oldest churches and this is the Flam Old Town. You better not get too close.
We have arrived back in town. So that ends our bike ride here in Flam. And obviously the rest of the trip we're not gonna have a chance and opportunity to ride anymore but that's okay. There's always a chance for us to ride elsewhere around the world. Hey, you return the bikes. It's all indicated, so no worries about finding it. Just look for this Flam Zip Line bike drop. And it's easy to spot because it's right beside the e mobility rental place for all these uh, electric vehicles. Yeah, yeah fun. Yeah. I think everything was awesome. The zip line was <laughs> out of this world. And the bike ride was so beautiful. It brought us to see so many things. Yeah. Okay, so we are gonna head back to town, have lunch, and then go back and rest for a bit before coming back to see the museum and do a bit of shopping later. This time around, we went to the kebab stall. So we got a beef burger, some fries, and a kebab roll. And we are sitting right here in the middle of the town. So that's the museum. We are going there right after this. Yeah. There's still a lot of day trippers from both uh, the cities nearby as well as from the cruise. So it's a lot more crowded. But as we saw yesterday, by around 5 pm, the town starts to empty out and it gets very, very quiet. And that's the time that we'll go out again to do our shopping. We are back in town after resting for a bit and it's only 6.30 the cruise ship that was here has just left and I wanted to just show how immediately the town seems different everything suddenly got a whole lot quieter a whole lot calmer the ones who are still here uh, obviously the ones who are staying the night it's become absolutely deserted now but it's so beautiful when it's like this it's just like any other small town we just got the last bit of groceries for Flum so just enough for breakfast tomorrow and some snacks for the train journey to Bergen and since it's still early, we decided to end the day by going on this culture walk, which is a park trail uh, right behind Freetham Hotel. And it goes all the way up there. And we were told that we might get to see some horses and some artworks that have been laid along the paths on this trail. There are a few paths you can take, but we're just trying our luck because we're trying to find the horses that we saw from the bottom. We think it's this way, but we'll see. You can see the harbour behind us. It's not far but it's very steep so you climb almost the gradients really steep and it doesn't take long for you to gain quite a bit of elevation but it's nice we are heading up there right to the top we're still on the lookout for the horses we know they're somewhere here Let's see if we can find them. 
we spotted the horse. It's right there. Hello, horsey. Oh, so majestic. Against the backdrop of the harbour there. It is the 8th of June, a Saturday here in Flam and today we are leaving to head down to Bergen. So we are on the 8.25 train, uh, the first train out from Flam, so it's pretty empty and we got good seats to sit on the right side when you're leaving Flam and the view is going to be much nicer on the right side. So that's a tip. For anyone who's leaving from should do that. We are expected to reach Bergen at 11.30 so we've already contacted our next host and he has kindly prepared the apartment earlier for us. Flamsbana and that train only goes back and forth between Bordel and Flam so we've transferred across over the track from track 11 to track 1 and now we are in the train that will bring us to Bergen We just got off the Bosbanen train from Merodel and two hours later it's 11.30 right now we just reached it's very sunny right now and the temperature has gone up a bit so it's about 11 degrees just to show you this is the view of the entry so just 200 meters away from the train station we've made it to our apartment here in Bergen it's a lovely apartment on the top floor so the entrance is all the way down there and coming up we are right at the highest floor so coming in what greets you is a foyer toilets on the left on the left is a combo living room doesn't come with this lady it's so bright today I love it this is how it looks like from the window out to the left it's a nice dining nook here kitchen area sink cooking area mirrors here bed yep Ooh, with a nice lamb rug okay and the highlight would be of course the outdoor area so opening up You've got your own private balcony here. Don't mind the socks. I didn't realize that the ground was wet. And you can see the river right there. So looking left and right, we are the only ones with the balcony and the only ones facing out <coughs> that way. Okay, so the first view of our apartment here in Bergen. Plan right now is to, yeah, you can see how sunny it is, is to settle in, rest for a bit because we're still quite exhausted from, <coughs> from flum, sorry. And then we're gonna go out for lunch and explore the Maritime Museum.